Good day fellow investors. Mario Cipriano asked this question. Driv is a new ETF for this market. Any thoughts Sven? Of course I have thoughts on a new ETF and I want to show a little bit what I see about this ETF craze that's going on and what you should be really really careful when you invest in such specific ETFs. There are good ETFs, relatively good, and there are extremely bad ETF scams. Such an ETF like Driv is, from my point of view, is a clear scam to get to your money. Let's dig into this. So first, the ETF industry is very, very positive. You can see here the net inflows into ETFs. They are constantly around 40 billion per quarter over the last eight quarters, which means that there is an industry, there is a market. And what does Wall Street do when there is a market? They serve that market and they invent constantly new things, new exciting things to sell to customers. As long as there are customers buying, there will be more and more ETFs coming. And here you see something crazy. This is the number of ETFs up to 2016. I didn't even check for the data till now. So we started with 276 ETFs in 2003 and now we are at 4,779 various ETFs. 4,000, almost 5,000 different ETFs. That's almost more than all the stocks traded on the American exchange. So you practically need to be a better ETF picker than a stock picker now with all those ETFs. That's crazy. Further, assets under management from ETFs grew, grew, grew. We are now past 4 trillion with bonds and stocks, which means that also the dangers increase. Because why are people holding ETFs? People are holding ETFs because you want liquidity and you want an index fund. Why do you want liquidity when you own an index fund? So that you can get out as fast as possible when things change. When all those people start getting out, when those inflows that have pushed the market so high over the last eight, nine years turn to the negative, then it will be doom and gloom. And as I said, one of the biggest risks that I see in the market are ETFs and the holders of those ETFs. There are other risks, I'm not going to into that now, but it's a crazy situation. Just to mention that on February, I think it was one day, there was just a 30 billion outflow from the stock market. So 30 billion is nothing compared to 25 trillion, that's the market cap. And the stock market fell what was 3% in one day, just on 30 billion. So it's not important how big is the stock market, but how big is the exit door. And the exit door with ETFs is extremely small because it was doing well while things go up. As stocks go up, ETFs do well, but when that momentum will turn, and eventually it will turn, then this is one of the biggest risks to the stock market. Inevitable, unfortunately. Now let's look at this autonomous drive and electric vehicle ETF. What I would say to everybody, please, if you hold an ETF, look at the holdings of that ETF and compare it to the fancy name the ETF has. Autonomous drive and electric vehicle. So the Autonomous Drive and Electric Vehicle ETF seeks to invest in companies involved in the development of autonomous vehicle technology, electric vehicles and EV components and materials. It seeks to provide investment results that correspond generally to the price and yield performance before fees and expenses of the sole active autonomous and electrical vehicle dream vehicles index. And let me show you this. The number of indices is higher than the number of stocks. So everybody is inventing a new index a new index to track, a new product to sell to the market. And this is the scam. So now it has become simply crazy that everybody is trying to scam investors because everybody says ETFs are good, you should buy ETFs. And then these scammers come into the market and bombard the market with different ETFs. And let me check the holdings of this drive ETF and you will see that it has nothing to do with autonomous drives and electric vehicles. Top holding Microsoft. I use it as an operating system for my PC, not for autonomous drive in my car. Samsung, phone, Intel, chips, okay, Toyota, normal car corporation, Alphabet, Apple, Texas Instruments, BHP, Billiton. Will these companies see most of their revenue come from autonomous drive or electric vehicles ever in the future? No. So perhaps they will have some marginal exposition to the sector, but it will again be marginal. But there is an ETF built around that and sold, sold to customers with a 0.7% fee, yearly fee, 0.68 yearly fee, 
where you can buy those big companies on the cheap without a fee and when you buy an ETF you also pay the brokerage commission. But let me show you something even more interesting. This is what BHP, the number 10 holding, does. It produces iron ore, 44% of its profits is iron ore, petroleum, 20% is from oil. So they hold this in an electric vehicle index. Next, coal, again, in electric vehicle index. And the only thing that I would say it's related is copper, but that's only 17% of profits. So if there are electric vehicles and autonomous drive, the goal is that we have less cars, which means less steel, less iron. Why BHP? Secondly, petroleum. 20% of BHP's profits come from oil. If we have autonomous drive and electric vehicles, shouldn't we consume less oil? Perhaps, I don't know. Then, thirdly, coal. Everybody's going to renewables, ta -ta -la, ta -la -la. even uh, the UK didn't consume coal for what was it, 55 hours a few days ago because everything was done through renewables and other sources. So coal is also something that is not really in the same trend. But this is the 10th position of the ETF called Autonomous Drive and Electric Vehicles. So completely crazy, let's package something, let's try to sell it to unaware investors. And at this point in the market, unfortunately, there are thousands, millions of unaware investors that will make the guy that invented this ETF have a very nice bonus at year end and buy himself a nice, probably electric vehicle. We'll see if he contacts us and tells us what he will do with his big bonus at the end of the year. So if you hold ETFs, please check whether the holdings fit the description of the ETF and whether you are happy holding the ETF. I would never own it in the ETF because it is a market cap ETF where they buy more of the expensive, this they buy high and sell low when the trend changes. Further, there are fees that you don't have to pay because you can pick the best stocks out there and don't pay the ETF fee because they are again just buying whatever, putting something into those ETFs without thinking whether it's actually related. Thank you for watching, looking forward to your comments and I'll see you in the next video.